All right, buddy. So I know uh, I know the, the last day of the event was really, really crazy. There was some really kind of heavy things um, that kind of happened that with, with Dave Wood had talked about. But but I know you've kind of had a, a really strong experience. Can, can you kind of share what, what happened and, and kind of how it affected you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for today, anyway, it started with the, what Toby and Layla were talking about. And I said, yeah, the last day. It's a really bad thing. But anyways, they had, what they had us do is kind of go through this exercise where we close our eyes. We took three deep breaths. And then they had us go to a place in our life where we were at our lowest. You know? And what came up for me, honestly, and I have to share this with very many people, and a lot of people don't know this about me, outside of my close group of you know, family and friends, is that when I was younger, you know, I was on a really, I hit a really bad streak where I did a lot of really bad things, and um, they all kind of like, like built up on each other, and I ended up being incarcerated when I was a kid. I got put into like the juvenile department of correction. It was like prison for kids, basically, right? So um, that was my lowest point in my life, you know, and there was things that happened in there, you know, I, I got put in isolation, which is like basically you're in a cell. You know, like a six by six cell, maybe eight by eight by cell with nothing but concrete walls and that's it, and just your thoughts, right? And that was the lowest I've ever been in my entire life. And I, the moment that I thought about when they had me do this exercise, right? So I had my eyes closed and I was thinking about this. And then she says, think about where you are now. You know, and then I was thinking about where I was. I was standing in a room around, surrounded by 4,000 other people that are dreaming about having this amazing life. You know, the sky's the limit, that everything's possible. You know what I mean? And I was like, wow, you know, I came from that. It's like, nothing. Now, at this point, like, wow, what can I make of my life? And then I started thinking about where I, where I can be in three months from now. And then I started to paint a beautiful picture for where I'm going to be in April of 2013 of this year by the Chicago event. You know, I'm going to take my mom, my, my baby sister, and Chinda, who's always looked up to me, and my wife, and whoever else, whoever else wants to come with me. And we're going to get to Chicago, and we're going to fly there, and we're going to stay in whatever damn hotel, the best hotel in Chicago, and I'm going to be up on stage, and I'm going to be getting a check. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm a little fearful to put a number out there, but I'm going to say $100,000. $100,000. Yeah, I believe it. By Chicago in April, okay? That's my goal. That's my vision. Me and my wife are going to do this thing. We're planning on going all in by tomorrow. We're going to put that plan in action. We're going to find the money to make that happen, right? And the second thing I'm going to talk about is what happened with Dave. Dave has close our eyes again, right? And what did he have to do exactly? I kind of remember. Find your purpose. Kind of yeah. What okay, is God so going to do for you? Why are you, even, why are you even here? Why do you want the things that you want? Like, really ask yourself why you want what you want. And he had us close our eyes, and he was asking us, okay, if you got the thing that you want, like 100000 by Chicago by April, right? What is that going to do for you? What, is that gonna, what are you going to get from that, right? So I started thinking, okay, if I get that, then I'll have freedom. I'll be able to travel the world and do things that I want. Okay, what will that do for you? What do you get from that? Okay, if I get the opportunity to do that, then, then I'll have a story, and I can help liberate others to do kind of the same thing in their life and become free and do things in their life. Okay, what will that do for you? And he just kept asking you, what did that do for you? What did that do for you? And then after you get past all these kind of selfish things, I guess, and all this fluff, then you really get to avoid this blank space. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And I had my eyes closed, and I was thinking for a very long time about what he was asking me. Like, what will this do for you? What will this do for you? And I was thinking in my heart of hearts, like, so deep. Like, a lot of people don't go that deep. I was in this place. Like, what will that do for you? And one word came to mind. He had the whole audience. He had the whole audience. He had like 4,000 people had their eyes closed thinking about this, right? And all of a sudden, I start hearing people shouting the deepest part of themselves about what it is that they're here for. What is their true purpose? And mine, the word that came to my mind was meaning. You know, what does it all mean? Why are we all here? Why? And I can guarantee you, it's not to live like a freaking slave, to go to work and work for somebody else and have your time completely consumed until you're 60 and hopefully retire to die. That's not what we're here for. And, I, and it's, what, what does it mean? What does it mean for me? And I think that the meaning that we're all here is because we're human beings, you know? When you eat something delicious or when you look up at the stars or when you go see a beautiful, anything beautiful, it's beautiful because we've been made to look at it and say, wow, this is beautiful. If we weren't here to say it was beautiful, then who would? Nobody. So it made me think like that's what it all means. It's all for enjoyment. That's it. It's all for abundance. It's all for prosperity. That's what it means. So my mission in life and I'm telling you this, all of you, whoever is listening to this, is to help you understand your meaning. What is your meaning? It's time for you to enjoy your life, just like it's time for me and everybody else. Let's make this thing happen. 2013, Chicago, April, let's make it happen, everybody. All right. Woo!